Hello and welcome back to this beautiful sunny day in England. It's not sunny at all, I'm lying. But we've got shades of summer here from Meow Cafe Watercolor on Etsy. They looked really cute and um, yeah, that's pretty much my uh, judgment on paints. If they look cute, I'm gonna try them. <laughs> let's, uh, let's get into it. Quite simple packaging, but we don't mind. At least it's not a nightmare to get into. Here they are, they're all handmade and I think that's really nice. There's something really special about one person, a company, a small business, hey, say, making stuff, uh, like me. <laughs> I don't know why I said it like that, I'm really sorry. Pesto, pardon you. I don't know if I can, no, I can't take them out. I'll stick off a little bit carefully. I think I spoke too soon about the uh, packaging, but um, do I have tweezers? No, I don't. It's coming off, but it's a little bit stuck on the paints, but I think that's just to like protect them. Okay, so here they are. This is the Shades of Summer palette. I'll link this down below, by the way. I bought this myself, so this is, you know, not sponsored or anything. It's a small business and I really like them. They look really cute and I can't wait to try them. I figured with this one, I would try it with some black paper, but I also want to see how they look on white paper just to test them out first of all i want to see what it looks like on this white paper i'm just doing a quick test because i've seen them being used on um black paper more because they're more like fluorescent yeah they're quite nice i mean not so pigmented but i think that's because i think the intention is to use it on black paper orange let's try it. orange you glad you watching this video sorry yeah nice i mean i'm like yeah they work <laughs> do you know what i mean i really want to try them on this black paper which i thought ahead about and i got because i was like i think i want to try it on black paper so let's try out them let's try out them brilliant english let's see what they look like i mean i'm just gonna Ooh. <clears throat> i'm a little bit excited because that looks really cool and i'm really glad that i'm testing them on water on watercolor paper on black paper because i think that they're intended use and i think that looks really pretty what do you guys think love it already okay end of the video <laughs> done and done no but we are going to paint something and i have been thinking about what to paint in the meantime because you know i know i was going to film this video we're just going to paint like a a little jungle scene i think and i because i thought like it would be really nice if this was like a jungle in the dark in the night time i'm a little bit in love with when the pigment first hits the paper and it's so bright like that i think that looks so beautiful and i really really like the textures that the the paint is like bringing up does that make sense i feel like that does make sense and you guys are just being difficult come on understand me <laughs> <laughs> oh i really like these this is so nice to just do something completely different because i've been working so hard on my new comics and speaking of my comics uh it's time for a little shout out to the sponsor of this video and now a word from our sponsor me do you like comics and stickers and you you don't know where to buy them and and you just you can't even know well check out the link down below because there's some amazing <laughs> quality products for you to lay your hands on today and so i just i'm i have this really nice idea to just do like a whole kind of jungle scene really like that you can just kind of push the paints around the paper a little bit it gives off that kind of glowy effect i don't think i've ever done anything on black paper like this before so maybe that's why i'm just like having a bit of a moment <laughs> <laughs> of uh or really want to do like a oh i love that a star field or something like a galaxy up here oh i just love these colors as well i know i'm just in awe of these but i think they're so fun i'm gonna try this blue because i think it's gonna be absolutely stunning i was right i was right that is beautiful really like the idea of like these incoherent shapes like these inconsistent shapes in the background i would just say that it just it does just feel like i'm playing with watercolors at the moment which is something that i haven't you know felt in a while it's crazy how well they layer as well because usually with watercolors they're not like this opaque and if i'm not sure if that's just because they're like designed for black paper but usually if you wanted to layer this green over that purple it just wouldn't look as vivid as this with like normal watercolors so it's just fun this is so cute and beautiful and i'm really having fun 
truly are having a joyful moment. It would be really nice if it had like a white in it, uh, but that would be cool. Or like a really opaque white like this. It's not really looking much like a star field, but hopefully it will. <laughs> When I've done more details. I'm kind of doing like blocking out the rough shapes at the moment and then I will go in and rejig stuff. Didn't you know that was the uh, artistic term? Rejig stuff? I want to build up these leaves like a lot a lot a lot more. The layering and the textures that it's giving me is just so beautiful. I think I don't know, there's something I really enjoy personally about this kind of texture um, that you're getting where it's sort of like not fully covered and just giving that like kind of grainy feel but i just think it looks nice it's definitely something very calming and relaxing about using these beautiful vivid watercolors on black paper i'm just zoning out having fun chilling vibing you know it's it's a rare thing for me i don't get like that with drawing i'm like nah. You know, you've seen the videos, so. The only thing that I am having a hard time with, with my own <laughs> abilities, obviously, is that going from dark and then light on top, and then no way to get back to that darkness is kind of like difficult for me because I want to do like shadows on these leaves and stuff. And I'm like, oh wait, I've already, already made it all bright. So how am I going to do that? And, uh, yeah, that's that's a difficult one. Really loving these paints, man. Man, I want to see what it works like with pencils because sometimes that's what I do with watercolors is that I use pencils over the top, and I would be interested to see like how these work with that. So let's try that out. So I'm gonna try the black pencil just to add definition in certain areas. It's, it's working out. It's working well. I nearly said it's working nice, and I would have absolutely been annoyed with myself <laughs> a bit of mixed media action guys i think that is gonna be swell let's see what the blue pencil looks like on top so it does like layer really nicely with these watercolor paints which is something to consider let's try this pink because it's got a bit of pink like random action going on i think maybe like the light is pink i don't know yep the pink is working nicely on top of very good i wanted to see if i could use black so i've been using this pentel brush a lot recently but actually i think the pencil is a bit more desirable i think this might be like a little bit too dark whereas the pencil kind of blends in like a little bit if that makes sense uh, i need to work on the sky a little bit more um just to define it what it is because at the moment it just kind of looks like swirly blobs and i'm just like shading the areas where maybe there might be shadow a little bit behind the leaves just to give that like definition it kind of pops out it kind of looks like it could be like paper art a bit i do love these like random blobs that are supposed to be like bushes and stuff but they don't really look like anything interesting shape yeah definitely shading with this black uh pencil is working i think it's giving it's making it really like pop out like everything is ge getting a bit more depth to it i definitely want to do like some more definition on the leaves as well to make them look more like leaves rather than just like random shapes that's looking cute i changed the word nice for cute did you notice that just steadily changing my vocab there you know do you just want to add like a few more leaves here and there uh, before we start uh this action um need the jungle to kind of go way more higher way more higher so i like the idea of having this star kind of exploding over here and to get that kind of vibe i want to really layer some color here and then use the hair dryer to push the paint around i'm definitely liking the way that's looking i want to act like this is actually just a mountain um, so I'm just gonna try and do like a little bit of color here and then steadily get it darker as it goes down the page if this is a mountain it would pick up the color from the exploding star on top of it so we probably need to emulate that a little bit and we're just gonna bring color down slightly
putting some pink down now where the light might uh where the star is exploding it might just pick up on the leaves and around how that might look through different leaves and it would just be like a rim light on most of this stuff but i feel like it would shine through the leaves a little bit as well because leaves are not so opaque right so let's see just a little bit here and there to hint at this light coming from here That's the final look of this image. I really like it, as you guys can probably tell. So a little thing there I wanna change. And uh, yeah, that's that's it. I really like these paints. I think that much is obvious throughout this uh, video. And I'll leave the link down below. Obviously not sponsored again. And I really like them. So you guys should check it out. So please, see the end of the video. Please let me know what you think. And I'll hopefully see you next time. Bye.